My name is Laura Watson. My website is pinkapplejam.com. I am a co-founder of Sweatdrop Studios and I've been illustrated in Mangastar for almost 15 years. Heads is quite interesting actually because if you take uh, the average human skull, um, it isn't actually spherical, it's actually a bit like a kidney bean, like so. Um, if I was to draw some cute facial features on here, it would look something like this. Um, you know, you can taper off the heads. Uh, this would be the hairline. Draw the hair coming down. If you draw a character like this, um, more often than not, your character won't really look very realistic. Obviously, drawing in a manga style is a very huge stone's throw away from realism, but there are elements of drawing comic books, uh, comic illustration, that uh, does take elements from real life and simplifies it. So, yes, if we start drawing skulls, like so, from different angles, again, this crosshair, very useful in the placement of um, physical attributes such as eyes, nose, lips, etc. and so on. Um, you can imagine where the hair would come from, the middle of the hairline coming down, the jawline would join like so. So yeah, whether you're interested in drawing comic books or not, um, attending life drawing classes and uh, having a look at different shaped heads. <laughs> um, Obviously, different hairstyles as well, where the hair grows on each person's head, that sort of thing, all very useful. So, very roughly, um, here are some examples of that sort of bean-shaped head and how to adapt it into your manga-style drawing.